Hi, today we are going to demonstrate a very cool uh, Python uh, library called uh, Clip. It's uh, the full name is AI Clip, and we are going to classify images with a bunch of words. That means we are going to use a full sentence as a label, and using this model, we are going to show it uh, a new image and test the model and to see and to predict which of the labels is suitable for that image and as i said it's based off a bunch of words and not a specific uh, label a very cool library so as always we are going to start with uh, creating a new uh, conda environment and then we are going to uh, install several python uh, python libraries so please uh, follow this uh, step the first step as i said is installing uh, the libraries first we are going to install pytorch um, i have a uh, cuda 11 so uh, you have to choose uh, your preferences and then install the relevant and use the relevant command in order to install the pytorch and then we are going to use a traditional uh, pip install a pip install command in order to install uh, the next libraries Now we are going to uh, download the, the relevant uh, GitHub library. So you should uh, search for a clip, choose the first one of Open in OpenAI, and then uh, copy uh, this uh, command uh, git. Again, use the, the git clone in order to, to download all the, the files. And next we are going to copy several uh, images you can download your own images. First one is an image of a concert, a live concert with the crowd. This is a, a nice puppy. And the third one is uh, two kids eating an ice cream. As I said, we are going to use a full sentence in order to classify these images. So as for now, we are going to copy it to the home directory where we uh, install our uh, GitHub library. Okay, now let's move so to some uh, coding. First, uh, let's uh, open our uh, working library. Uh, in this library, we are going to create one file, one Python file, in order to, to activate or, or test the pre-trained model. First of all, we have to choose the, the right Python uh, interpreter. Uh, as we already created the Conda environment, we are going to use this Conda environment. We name it AI Clip. And now we are going uh, to code the, the how to, to test uh, the model. We are not going to train the model. It's already a pre-trained. So we do, we do some importing and um, upload a, a fresh image. And then we are going to, to, to run the, uh, or test uh, the model. So first of all, let's see if our environment is working just to do some importing without uh, any further uh, commands. Okay, the, then we are going to uh, create a, a new variable. We, we call it a device. This variable will check if we have a, a GPU in our machine. And then we are going to load the, the model from this uh, clip uh, library. Next, we are going to create and think about our labels. We are going to build an array, a simple array. But first, let's look at our images. The first one, it's like a, a crowd or, or, or a concert, concert with a crowd. 
and and the next one is as I said it's a, a puppy a, a cute puppy and the third one is kids eating a, kids eating a, a ice cream so let's say that our first label would be kids eating ice cream the second one would be a cute dog and the third one would be a crowd in a concert so basically our model will have to choose between these uh, three three uh, labels okay next let's uh, create a variable for our path for the images let's choose the first image it's image number one dot jpg we don't need a full path since I copy it to our working directory next we are going to use the, the process uh, function and the image.open function in order to, to load the image and to do the pre-processing for the model uh, next we are going to do um, something similar to our uh, labels, our text labels so please uh, follow, follow the next step Okay, the, the probes variable has the probabilities for, uh, for the outcome of the model for each of our labels. So let's uh, run it for the first image. And we can see that uh, we got, after we print this uh, probe variable, that uh, uh, we got three results, okay, three numbers. Each number represents the position in our uh, text labels. That means that the highest one is uh, pointing for the, let's say, the, the predicted uh, label. So if we got the, the third as the highest one, that means that our image is crowd in a concert. Okay, so what we are going to do next, we would like to extract the text label crowd in a concert. So in order to do that, we need to uh, use the NumPy Array library and we are going to use the argmarks function from NumPy Array that retrieve the highest, uh, highest value, basically the, the index of the highest value. So let's create a, a new variable, we call it answer and then we are going to use the NumPy library and especially the argmarks uh, function of course we have to import the NumPy and then we would like to uh, retrieve the position in our array that means if answer will have the, the value of 0 that means this is the first position in our a text label array 
and then we are going to uh, print it just to, to figure out if uh, if it's working correctly so let's run it we supposed to see the text a uh, crowd in the concert and you can see that it works perfect next let's uh, show uh, the image along with the text that means that we would like to project the image and put uh, the predicted text along with the image and show them together in order to do that we are going to to use the OpenCV library first we are going to to use the I'm read in order to um, load the image from from the disk and then we are going uh, to use the the function put text to to put our uh, predicted text in the relevant position in the image this is the put put text function we have to pass arguments like the image the relevant text and the position would be uh, 0 uh, by 100 and it will be in purple color this is the, the RGB color and then we are going to show the image and uh, wait for any key in order to close the image it's a very common practice using the OpenCV library okay so let's run it yeah it's working you can see on the top left the text crowd in a concert you are mo most welcome to subscribe my channel for more uh, more videos we're going to do we're going to do uh, the same testing the same running on the the cute dog and you can see the the text is appears in the left corner and the left upper corner that works fine now let's see the, the third image let's see if the prediction works as well very nice kids eating an ice cream thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well you are most welcome to subscribe bye bye